Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, about to encounter the boss. Hey, Conga. Uh, so you have enough tickets now. Sure do, monkey boy. That's my shift over then. Let's go grab a good seat. Where do you think our seat will be? Can't see any seats. Perhaps we're supposed to um, sit on this big lump on the floor. Doesn't look very comfy. Oh dear, not more intruders. Oh, I'll show you who's the boss. See how big and strong Mr. Patch is. Ha, huh, you're not all that big, really. That Klingo freak near the start was probably bigger than you. Oh yeah? Well, how about this? Uh... This strange, wobbly, inflatable thing. Who, unfortunately, has a plug uh, in the worst possible spot. Oh, you're clever, aren't you? One doesn't like to blow one one's own trumpet. Uh, it's not a battle coming on. Do you insist? So, first things first. Um, you need the grenade eggs. And you need to blow up the one right on the back of his tail. Because that's the hardest one in the game. So, in this fight, and when he is, and when he gets to a smaller level, it's gonna be a lot harder. Luckily, the um, the game is nice enough to say like, hey, here's some uh, here's some egg and feathers. Took out a few of his spots all in like one burst. Okay. land. Let's get more eggs. As you can see, he's already considerably smaller now. Like, the one in the back of his tail would have been, like... It would have been really hard to hit before. When it's the last one, it's basically impossible. Help do I have? Okay, I only missed. I only lost three. That was weird. Now I gotta go around and pick up some health.
don't think health comes back. Look at that predictive AI. It's like, I was like, we believe you're gonna be right here, so we're gonna aim for right there. So ironically, what you actually want to do is to, um... Got it. Five, um, six minutes. Almost exactly six minute mark. Well, that's awkward. This boss used to give me, um, give us so many problems when we were younger. Now all we have is that final mini game. And we're basically good. But there's a reason why I saved these last uh these two for last. Oh right, we have to uh pay for the game. Forgot about that. <laughs> Excuse me, how foolish of me. Can't we pick up health? Hey, here to enter the bone j um, drawing dodgems game. The ride is now open. And much like the kickball tournament, it um, starts at one and then you have to progress and then it progress progressively gets harder. was upside down for some reason. <laughs> okay, now let's do this. Leave our twinklies alone. Oh, it's these is this guy. So you collect 60 points worth the twinklies in 45 seconds. Whack the bear. So his entire goal is to make it so we don't get points. 
gonna do that by throwing us off the, uh... By basically shoving us under corner. And again, this wouldn't normally be difficult, especially with a single one. But when your game can end... Because you have two of them just shoving you into a, uh, into a corner at once. Almost got there. Almost got the 90. This one doesn't do the left, right, and center approach to a first, second, and third game. Uh, which one is the gas battle? Let's, let's see you collect 50. Like whack-a-mole, but slightly, but slightly more annoying to deal with. Again, like, not too much of a problem, especially when all they're basically doing is is one is trapped behind the other. But again, all you um, all you have to do is just make sure you don't get stuck in a corner. Seventy-five. Third challenge. I believe that one is forty, because the number has been slowly going down to compensate for how much how more difficult it's being on you. You're in for a real ramming this time, pal. So you collect 40? Yeah. There we go. That's the that's the mini game I remember. As you can see, you can actually win very easily if you have really good RNG, which um, I I may not be skilled, but at least I have some actually good luck when it comes to video games. Still got the 70. Hand it over, you bony hag. Thirty. Still under fifth still under uh fifteen. So how about Maybe going to uh, to the skull wasn't the best idea. I could have just walked over there. But yeah, we're going to be taking the train instead. I believe it says, um, it's seeing the sights in Witchy Whirl. When you get it from there. I might start the next episode by actually, uh, showing that. But, I wanted to go to the cliff top for a reason. Oh. 
Oh yeah, she took a uh, hamburger. Is that over here? Let's see a white mumbo pad. And uh, minor spoilers, but that space is to aid in you. Uh, it's supposed to aid. That space is supposed to is you bring over a uh, you bring over a person and they will and they will be helped by Mumbo, effectively. There isn't much left right now, actually. Um, the only thing I would have done is go actually to the Isle of Hat is is went to the split up uh, pads, opened up the plateau, but I did that earlier. They thought I was gonna need the um, ice eggs for something, but apparently not. Only speak the smelly bird and skinny bird connected together. Okay. See something we don't? That is 10 years old. Oh, they're talking about the stop and swap eggs. Because the idea was that, um,. Yeah, these eggs are like 10 years old at this point, and we're only finally doing the thing that that Clucky the Hen was designed to do, to hatch these eggs. Special eggy on um, Heggy Egg Rewards a Gamer Pick. Looks nice. I like it. Amazing. I thought eggs had birds in them. Uh, so normally what would happen is you would come here and after smashing the three cartridges that were left um, around the Isle of Hags, you would come here and you would put the three, uh, the gold, silver, and bronze eggs down. Yeah, I have that one. That's the one I keep using. Unless they managed to fit us in around those boxes. Okay. <laughs> Already have the theme, but sure. Hope it's something good. Maybe we'll grant my wish and I'll start on my own game. No chance. We have plans for us. No, they don't. The best you're gonna get, Kazooie, is... Yeah, the best you're gonna get is the idea of... Wow. Yeah, I'm tired. Special Heggy Awards homing eggs, very nice. Go to the Cheeto code room and enter homing to enable the feature. seems heavy. Careful. Oh, it's because this one is the, uh, is bonus stuff for, 
nuts and bolts, I believe. The Briegel Bash. Press X and then again. So, the three things that would have been in the eggs is um, the homing. And now this. This move is going to be in Smash and it's going to be amazing. I would have thought Stop and Schwab would actually come to this. <laughs> the machine's next. Aw, oh, Kazooie. You're actually not going to like the next game. I mean, you could be someone who actually hates rare platformers. And then you'll actually love uh, Nuts and Bolts that basically say, Hey, those games were terrible, isn't that right? And, and then they'll clap and say that they are Game of the Year. Jinja was a multiplayer character. I believe that is actually the three that they gave you originally in the in the game. The last egg. I think I'll feel carry them for ten years. I'm waiting. Yeah, it does make a little bit of sense. I was like. Yeah, I've been waiting for this. Oh, my. Very special award. This might be useful. One day. There we go again. Well, at least that means we'll get to see our 20th birthdays. Think so. Surely we'll make the next game faster than that. And on their 20th anniversary, Banjo and Kazooie will be coming to Smash. <laughs> like, it's not actually what they intended. It's actually something that, um... But it is actually kind of funny when you really think about it. That it's like, oh, yeah. It'll be 20 years since uh, Banjo and Kazooie that they'll be coming to Smash. So I guess that was a uh, prophetic. Um, you know what? Yeah, we're on uh, next episode. We're going to be going into the next world. See you guys then.